Meanwhile, the European Commission proposed a new way of assessing whether companies are exporting at unfairly low prices. Take a look. European Commissioner Vice President Yerki Katainen said the new rules would allow European companies to compete fairly with competitors outside the 28-member bloc. He added a fair trade environment was important to its industry's competitiveness and job creations. Now more than ever, we need to show our citizens that global trade can continue to be fair and deliver good economic and social outcomes. For that, we need a strong international rule-based system with tough enforcement measures that secure open markets and level playing field. Trade policy is very important for modernizing the European economy. It's very important for job creation in our continent. And that's why all the trade deals we managed to get through will help Europeans to get jobs. The tr sim simple principle is that 1 billion euros more export from Europe to third countries will create around 14,000 new jobs. Now, the Commission proposal comes as a response to Chinese demands to be no longer treated as a special case. The country is currently on the list of non-market economy status to which specific anti-dumping tar tariffs apply. In cases of alleged dumping, EU trade investigators currently compare Chinese export prices to those of a third country, such as the U.S., rather than to domestic prices, which Beijing says is discriminatory and in any case in breach of WTO rules from mid-December. The European Union has been debating whether to grant China market economy status or mess from December, which Beijing says is its right 15 years after joining the World Trade Organization. European commissioners from the 28 EU members discussed three options, do nothing, simply grant China mess or adopt a new approach. But Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmström said that the commissioners had favored the third option, setting aside the issue of whether or not China is a market economy, adding the list system would be abolished. Now we will abolish that list and do a new uh, country neutral, so we're not singling out China, this could go for any country, what we're looking at is whether there are distortions in a country or even in a sector, uh, and that we will, will look at uh, in, in a non-discriminatory way when it comes to, to countries. So this is the new proposal. So China is not a market economy, we're not granting it market economy status. If it were a market economy, we wouldn't have these problems with steel. And this new method now, she also said establishing cases of dumping would take into account prevailing international prices. Kaitinen said the new approach would lead to duties very similar to those in place today. He also advocated speeding up the time it takes for anti-dumping tariffs to apply to seven from nine months. The Commission will make a formal proposal to EU member states and to the European Parliament later this year.